Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's a kind of a dreary day out there today. I was gonna do some filming outside, but it looks like it's going to rain. So I decided, you know, I'm gonna do a get ready with me video. So I'm right now using these two products, the coconut milk conditioner. Oh, sorry, coconut milk conditioner. <laughs> and the coconut milk shampoo. Something else by them that I use to protect my hair when I do blow dry it is this, the Coconut Milk, Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. And it works quite well for blow drying your hair. I think it works quite well for me. Yeah. Right now, before I do any blow drying or anything else, I always moisturize my face and moisturize my lips and it gives them a chance. So oh, what I'm using right now, I think I told you this before in another video, is the Too Faced Hangover Remedy for skin. Like I said before, I use it as a moisturizer it's uh, not meant to be a moisturizer but it is it is a nice base for your skin so but yeah it works good for me so I put two tiny pumps and I just apply it and it's neat. Nivea also a very very nice lip balm if you're not going outside and you're not going you know if you're not going to the sun for long periods of time it's nice and moisturizing so I let my face and lips moisturize while I blow dry my hair but yeah, that's the start of my routine. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll start drying my hair. Here we go. Okay, now once my hair is dry, and I do rough dry it, as you see, I don't use a round brush. If I had one, maybe I would try it, but I've never ever tried it. So I don't brush my hair at all when it's, I brush it out with a very wide brush. See, wide teeth. So a lot of people suggest combs. I mean, I think the combs teeth are a little too narrow. I know you can get the wider teeth ones, but I find with my length of hair right now, I used to have quite long hair. So now at this length, I can use a brush and I have too much pulling. So I use that at the very beginning. And then I don't brush my hair again until after it has dried completely. That way I seem to have less damage. And I always start, you may have noticed, from the bottom when it's damp and when it's dry too, just to give it a bit of a break. I have enough problems already with my hair. I don't need to add to it. And one day I'll tell you my hair tale. It's, it's a sad and lonely one and sad. and But yeah, it is what it is. So I'll tell you that one day. So everyone's got a hair story, don't they? So there we go. So for what I use to kind of deal with the little ends, I have some, you know, fried ends and stuff, I will actually flat iron them out with one of these. I don't own an actual flat iron. Um, I find this works just fine, very multi-purpose. One and a quarter inch barrel. It's by Conair Infinity Pro. Can't be more than $40. I think it was like $40 from Walmart or something like that. I don't know how much the dryer was because it was a present. So. so I try to do, what I do is I roll my hair. Um, how can I explain this? I go. I go away from my face, towards my face, away from my face, towards my face. I try it in four sections. Pull it through, spin it, hold it, pull it to the ends, slide it down. So it doesn't really give you a huge curl, but it does give you the smoothness. That's what I'm looking for is the smoothness. And plus, um, I only run the temperature of my iron at 330. And this one goes all the way up to 400, but I don't think it's necessary. I think I've actually smelled my hair burn. So I don't like that. <laughs> but some people know their hair, apparently they need it for that. So that's great, but it works for them. But yeah, I'm gonna curl my hair to the front and you can see how it looks at the end, okay? Okay, 
side of how the one side works. I ended up doing five steps because I just found it was kind of difficult to do before. But so yeah, so back and forth, back and forth. It kind of looks kind of like, I don't full blown fair off, but I let this cool before I do this side. Or I let it cool out and I do this side. I Then I kind of work my fingers as well, but at the same time. So, we can do this other side and we'll see how this thing is. There we go. Now, I'll just run my fingers through it to pull out the curls. So it should run the face. And there it is. Nothing too fancy. Definitely not take, doesn't take very long. It takes probably about 10 minutes. But yeah, that's how I do it. Okay, now for my face. I've never done one of these before, so forgive me if it's too close or too far. But yeah, this is, I'm just giving you my basic you know, my, how I basically do makeup. If I go out, I don't wear a lot of makeup, as I said before, um, normally, like I pretty much stick to skincare versus makeup. I think healthy looking skin is the perfect makeup. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I will show you how I will do it with my eyes and stuff. I mean, really it's, I use very untraditional things, just like I do with a lot of stuff. I use things that work for me. Everything's going to work differently for everybody. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And oh, here we go. But yeah, that is my makeup, my hair. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful. And I'll see you back with my outfit.